Hi, I'm Cal. Welcome back to the channel. So it goes without saying, I love Raspberry Pi projects and I love compute module projects. And for those of you guys that don't know, a compute module is a system on module that's sort of like a Raspberry Pi with no IO. So this is the Raspberry Pi CM4. There's also a CM3 and so on and a CM4S, but we're not going to talk about that. When it comes to system on modules in particular, you can put them into different carrier boards and different IO boards. And of course this is running ARM, but there are also CM4 and CM5 clones that allow you to, let's say, run RISC V. For example, you have a Milk V Mars CM, and the Milk V Mars CM is completely a RISC V CM4 clone. With the coming of different types of compute module-esque boards that are coming out today, like the Jetson Nano, the Jetson Nano Super, the Latte Panda Mu, you have x86 now, compute modules, essentially. And we're not talking about the weird Intel sticks that came out at one point. We're talking about real compute modules, system on module devices that you can incorporate into some awesome projects. Now, today's video is about the MK3 NeoMac by Carbon Computers. And it's essentially an Apple compute module. Now, mind you, this isn't an op Apple authorized device. This is by the great minds at Carbon Computers, and it's one of the coolest compute module-esque devices that I've ever had the pleasure of testing. Now, we won't be building this into anything, and if you guys want to see what this builds into, this is actually going to my little brother Ilya, who has a YouTube channel, uh, Adventures of Ilya, who he goes over some of the coolest tech, and he will be building this into a clumsy Cyberdeck, which is a nice keyboard display Cyberdeck with a whole bunch of I.O. The only problem is the Quamzy doesn't have a process. It doesn't have anything powering it. It's somewhat of a carrier board and a carrier board that will take this NeoMac. Now let's dive in what, what, what's really under here. Now the NeoMac comes in this nice cyberpunk-esque case and I really like how it comes. And as you can see, it says ship to Illy on it. Now it's, there's no visible IO at all. And all you have is a USB-C connector, which can come in handy. The NeoMac is essentially just a MacBook Air motherboard tied up into one compact little case that allows you to turn it into a whatever you'd like it. This is basically an Apple computer the size of, well, an iPhone. A little bit under five inches long, a little under two inches wide, just about a half an inch thick. Now let's dissect the NeoMac and see what's on the inside. Now here we have a MacBook logic board and they come with the options of up to M3 processors and it can come with eight gigabytes of RAM and up to four terabytes of built-in eMMC, which is pretty, pretty awesome. You can have it run Mac OS or you can have it run Kali. You can, you can choose which type of operating system you want this running. And I think that's rather exceptional. It's got built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You have, of course, the ribbon cable connectors if you wanted to take it out of here, but we're not gonna really pay attention to any of these ribbon cables right here. Our main source of I.O. is this USB-C connector right here, and that is about it. Now, remember, these are made for basically having a small MacBook computer on the go. And I like that there are different builds that you can build this into. It's quite simple. It's pretty much just screwed straight down. And the case and model make it so that you can build this into anything, making this similar to an Apple compute module. Now, I am kind of disappointed that Apple doesn't have anything in the realm of maker projects. And this kind of changes that because you could have an entire Apple ecosystem, if you so wish, right on any Cyberdeck project. And you have Cyberdecks that can run x86, you've just got to throw a Latte Panda in it. You have RISC-V Cyberdecks, which is, well, it has some growing pains. And you have the classic Raspberry Pi Cyberdecks, which has kind of become the norm. The fact that we can now build anything we want around the Apple ecosystem is kind of cool because there are some people who are used to the Apple environment and the Mac environment. I'm not one of those people, but there are a lot of people who are into all that. And by all means, you know, more power to you. The fact that you can dual boot is pretty, pretty nice. And the fact that you can run Mac OS with Kali, for example, is kind of exceptional. 
If you're interested in taking a look at the different Cyberdeck options and the NeoMac that they have on Carbon Computer's website, their website is carboncomputers.us. And for a discount code, use the code MAYHEM, which is our code. I thank you guys so much for the love and support, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to tune in to Adventures of Ilya to see what this NeoMac gets built into, man, because I'm really excited to see this Quumzy build. A Mac Quumzy build. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.